We should always attempt to take the target at the sweet spot where our eyes have got its sharpest, hardest focus on the target. This only lasts for a, a millisecond and the core setter understands this. So what he does is tries to make the target disappear to change course at this point. Usually he'll put some curl on the target and it will curl and drop. So we have what's called a complex lead. We need to be in front and underneath in a combination of two leads. And so the target flies into that pattern. We can either shoot it like clockwork or we can shoot it by boxing the target. Boxing the target is simply imagining a box and it's on the corner of the box and you're going to shoot opposite corner. Or we can imagine a clock and it's coming in at two and leaving at seven. And so what we do is we picture the clock face and as it gets to the center of the clock, we shoot at seven o'clock. As always, the first thing we establish is a transition point from blur to solid object. That will give us our gun hold. Pull. Where I see the target, I always, if this background, look for leaves or branches to establish the line of flight for my gun hold. And where I see it is just over that little Scots pine, that little, little young tree. And I'll hold my finger there, I'll look halfway back, pull, I'll see the bird move with it, bang. The target is going to pass behind some trees and it's actually transitioning and needs the complex lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain the hard focus, stare in the target as hard as I possibly can and the trees won't come into it. And also I'm going to use the box technique of applying the complex lead and I'm going to shoot here so the target will drift into my pattern. Pull. Pull. So whenever you see a target that is a complex lead, in front and underneath. Remember to think inside the box.